John with Fluidine and recently we went over how to change rotation on a VTM. So in this video what we're going to do is how to remove and reinstall the relief valve in the, the VTM cover. It's relatively simple but there is a fairly high spring tension behind this relief valve. So if you do have a worn out o-ring around the plug that's on the side here it might just pop out as soon as you remove the, uh, the pin that's holding it in. So what you want to do is get a punch and push through the pin to remove this pin. Uh, put your finger here on this side, that way if it does pop out maybe you can catch it. But once the pin's removed, if that plug stays in place, you can get a pair of needle nose pliers or you can just bang it on a hard surface and it should pop out. And then remove this plug and once you do, there you go, your relief valve starts to pop out. So when you get the relief valve out, there is a way to shim this to increase and lower the pressure on this. This hex nut here you want to remove, and underneath that are some shims. So to increase the pressure, you want to remove shims. To decrease the relief pressure on here, you want to add more shims in. And if your spring pops out, don't worry. I mean, that's the only thing left inside that cavity is the, the spring inside this unit. So if it does pop out along with the relief valve, it's real easy to reinstall. If it doesn't come out, just leave it in there. But there's a spring from the inside. So we want to reinstall that relief valve, put in your spring, make sure the hex nut goes in first towards the spring. Once you have that in and you got it squared in there, then you're going to want to try and install your plug. It's easier if you have some type of uh, little pipe or something flat on the head to help install this plug. And once you push down on it, it should pop into place and you can reinstall your pin back inside the slot there and push it all the way through or just tap it on one side to make sure it's all the way through and then the tension behind that plug should hold this pin in place. So that's how you can replace your relief valve. That way you can increase or lower the pressure depending on your hydraulic system's needs. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and if there are any how-to videos you would like us to do, please let us know.